what's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am here with Android TV on PC. You can get this over at Geek Tale It Hurts website. I'll leave a link in the description to his website and his YouTube page. He does a lot of great stuff with the Raspberry Pi, Android, and other Linux operating systems. Today I want to test out some benchmarks. Now this is running on an Optiplex 990 with an i7-2600. 12 gigabytes of RAM, an AMD 270X graphics card with 2 gigabytes of video RAM, and it's running from a 60 gigabyte SSD. I tried a couple other benchmark applications, but nothing would launch except for 3D Mark. 3D Mark's a really good benchmark application, though, so we're going to go run a couple benchmarks with 3D Mark, then I'll go into Chrome and run a few browser based benchmarks. Let's get into it. So, the first benchmark I'm going to run here is Slingshot. And when we're done, we can compare it to a couple other devices by checking out their charts. Okay, so we scored a 9,775. That's a pretty big score. We can compare that with a couple other devices here. We go to best devices. And the NVIDIA Shield TV console actually is a 4,841. So this is a big jump over that. I actually paid more for my Android Shield TV than I did with my PC. This was the second benchmark I ran. The first one was eight, 9,859. This is a pretty, pretty decent score for Android operating system running 3D Mark Slingshot. There is another benchmark that we can run here. We're going to go back. I'm going to test Ice Storm Unlimited. Now I have these benchmarks fast forwarded so you guys don't have to sit through them. Whoa. We scored a 99,593. That's a really big score for an Android device. NVIDIA Shield TV seems like it's at the top of the charts on most of this stuff. Let's find Ice Storm Unlimited here. And the NVIDIA Shield scored a 45,296. And the top device seems to be that Microsoft Surface Pro 3, which has a Core i7 at 54,019. We are well above those benchmark scores. I mean, 99,593. That's pretty ridiculous. This runs really, really good. So coming into this, I wanted to test as many benchmark apps as I could, but this was the only one I could get to launch. So I'm going to have to do some browser-based benchmarks. Now we're using the latest version of Chrome. It does work with Android TV. First thing I'm going to do is a quick Sun Spider. Two hundred and thirty six point six milliseconds. Now, this is by far one of the best Android scores that I've ever seen. Now, this is no top of the line machine here. If you have a gaming machine, you can definitely overtake these scores. But most of my stuff scores from eight anywhere from eight hundred to three thousand. Raspberry Pi is twenty six hundred to three thousand milliseconds. This is way faster than any of those. Next, I'm going to do Octane Benchmark, Octane 2.0. Very nice score. Octane score was 27,065. My iPhone 6S scores a 14,602, somewhere around there. I cannot remember what the Raspberry Pi scored, but I think it was around 3,000. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was, yeah, 27 to 3,000. Next up, we're going to try one more benchmark, and that'll be Peacekeeper. This is a 
browser benchmark. Let's just test the performance of your browser and we're using Chrome now. So you could definitely score higher if you're using a different browser or a better browser. Two thousand eight hundred and twenty one. We have a little list down here. Now these are older devices. This was uh the highest we got here. Twenty eight thousand twenty one compared to all of these other devices. It definitely trumped all of them. Now I know you see the iPad fourth gen. We got newer iPads out and everything, but this is not supported any longer, so this is what I had to go by. Overall, the performance is amazing on an x86 CPU. Android TV runs very smooth. Um, I've had no trouble video playback. A lot of apps that I've tested do work. There are some that don't. 3D graphics are amazing, as you saw with the 3D mark benchmarks we did. But I definitely suggest trying this out. Install it to a separate hard drive. Uh, link is in the description to Geek Till It Hurts website. He is really cool, man, and he does a lot of stuff. He just lets you guys use it, you know. I always want to give him a shout out, so thank you, Geek Till It Hurts. You are awesome. That's it for now. My next video, I will definitely be testing some emulation capabilities. Now, I understand that we can run all of these emulators on our Windows machine, but I do like experimenting and using Android on x86, especially Android TV, is pretty cool to me. We're going to see how they perform. I have tested a couple and they do run really well. So thanks for watching, guys. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. Like always, thanks for watching.